Denver, with investigators saying several people are now possibly linked to the attacks that we saw yesterday, and they're still on the run. This morning, police did make an arrest. Officials have not identified that person, but they did confirm that that person is not the suspect who survived the explosions at the city's airport there. That would be 24-year-old Najim Lakrawi and two other men who were seen there on surveillance video inside the airport before yesterday's bombing. The other two, we're told, died in the attack. 34 people were killed as well, and more than 200 people were hurt. A taxi driver told police he drove those three men to the airport yesterday. He led police back to a house where several explosive materials were found. Some Americans were injured in the attack. Some are still unaccounted for this morning. A third bomb did go off at a subway station not too far away from the EU headquarters. I felt an explosion and the train stopped in its tracks. Uh, the lights went out, the power went out. Uh, everyone dropped to the ground. They were screaming, but I knew immediately, and I think others around me recognized this was a terrorist attack. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack, and they are now also threatening other countries in Europe taking part in the anti-ISIS coalition. Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson, though, says there is no specific plot against the United States like the ones carried out in Brussels, but the department is stepping up security at major airports and rail and transit stations across the country.